Good morning, you guys. It is currently... Are you okay? Do you want to get up here? Okay. Good morning, you guys. It is currently like 9 a.m. right now. Helen and I have gotten up. We got coffee. My skin is completely bare and it looks so much whiter than the rest of my body because I did some... I did my my tanning routine last night yeah so kind of look a little crazy but i wanted to just do a little day in the life of what we've been doing recently i think we're gonna go shopping today yes i don't really know what the, today's video is gonna be but right now we are currently staying at my dad's house while he is out of town in florida so it's been really nice we're dog sitting as well dude don't even think about it don't even think about it uh-uh it's not happening you're not doing it. We're just hanging and chilling here. We actually have nothing to do today, like actually nothing. So we're just gonna hang out and you can be bored with us. I also thought at some point in this video, I would show you how I do my makeup. I did my hair yesterday and honestly, it's just, it is what it is. I'm probably gonna go through and curl a few pieces, but other than that, I'm not gonna wash it or anything. I've been using the Kevin Murphy skincare for your hair. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's basically an exfoliator for your scalp. And then you rub that in once, wash it off, and then you follow up with this little shampoo scalp treatment and you do that twice. I do that like every other day that I shower and I've really, really been liking it. So I did that yesterday. So I'm not gonna wash my hair today. I'll probably wash it tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna use the scalp treatment or not, but I'm gonna put him down for a nap in a minute and then I'm gonna wash my face because I still haven't even done that. And then I'm gonna start getting ready. Okay, so I just put Callan down for a nap. Now I'm gonna start getting ready. So far I've put on my Skin Medica TNS Eye Repair. This is one of my favorites. I also love the Lumiere, but I think you have to get that through um, like, an actual doctor or something like that. Normally, I don't look as tired and normally my face is not like 10 shades lighter than the rest of my skin, but I went a little dark on the um, self-tanner. Also, I usually do put self-tanner on my face. I use Bondi Sands and that usually doesn't break me out. Doesn't My skin is pretty um, lenient when it comes to putting products on my face but i'll usually do that before i go to bed but my usual routine is to do my body and contour my face with it so i have a little bit of color in my face i literally do not do anything with my face i really don't go out in the sun i always have a moisturizer and an spf on so it obviously is going to be a little whiter than the rest of my body um which is fine i would rather have nice skin than a tan face this is my moisturizer and SPF. I also put on my primer because if you don't prime, it's crime, honey. So my foundation that I'm using right now is the um, Rare Beauty foundation and I really, really love it. It is a little dark for me, but since I did tan, I am gonna try and match it to the rest of my body. Um, I might mix it with a little bit of concealer. Honestly, it's fine. I don't really care, but this is kind of what I do. So I just, Dab it around like that. And I break it into sections because I, I don't know why. I just like working on my face in sections. And then I'm gonna take my shape tape and just give it a few little dots in between. This also helps me with my redness. I don't use like really anything else for redness, but typically I don't really have any issues when I do this. And so I'm just gonna kind of work that in. I just try to be super gentle with my skin. I try and always move in upward motions. I do not like applying foundation with a beauty blender. I just, I don't really even know why, to be honest. But I love this Rare Beauty brush. It's so soft. It just really glides onto the skin. And I'm really picky about a foundation brush. But I'm just gonna work that into my skin. I'm also gonna make sure I get my eyelids into my hairline, my neck and going back into my ears because I obviously don't want there to be like a huge disconnect or gap in between my skin and my foundation. And I'm not putting a lot of the product onto the top of my eyelids or even really under. I'm just kind of using the excess 
of what I've already swiped and what's on my brush. And I usually do that for my neck too. Since I do um, tan my neck, I really don't put a lot of makeup on it. I also wanna make sure I get the corners of my nose, stuff like that, because um, typically women do have more redness there and I am one of those people. So I just wanna make sure I definitely get that with my foundation and my concealer. So. Here we are. For my concealer, I do use a beauty blender. It's the only thing I will use. I cannot use a brush. I don't know, I'm just picky. I kind of mix concealers. I know it's weird, but I use cream, cat cream, creme, cream, cream. Why am I like this? I use Creme Cafe from Jouer. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. And I put it only here under my eyes. I do here my chin because my chin does get red i'm pretty sure that's just like a hormonal thing and then obviously right here which i went in a little thick and then i do contour my nose no matter what because that's important then i'm going to spray my beauty blender So going back to talking about mixing concealer, I use the Bye Bye Under Eye on my under eye just a little bit um, when I need it. I'm kind of sleepy today and I had some wine last night. So I'm just gonna boop, boop, and I might even put some extra just where I usually get most red. I just feel like the Bye Bye Under Eye is a super heavy duty concealer um, and being a tired mom is no joke. <laughs> Now that I've got my concealer on, I'm taking the excess of whatever is on my beauty blender and putting that on top of my eyelids just to lighten them up as well. I do want a very bright eye because I do have smaller eyes, kind of almondy. Now I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty, if I can find it. This is Mocha Matchstick and I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna use this for my contour. I hate this brush, but it's what I have. So I'm using this one of these Morphe brushes and I'm just gonna lightly work that into my skin. Since this contour is a little darker, I will use whatever is left to just kind of bring down onto my neck. Um, I don't like a lot of makeup on my neck, but I also don't want it to look different than my face. And now we bake. While I bake, I typically move on to my eyebrows to save some time. Um, Callan usually sleeps like 30 minutes to an hour in the morning, um, and then he gets a long nap in the evening, so I just kind of get it done. I'm showing you my secrets on how I do my eyebrows. Um, it's a little extra and you need some tools. So I start out with my Anastasia 7B pen. This is like an eyeliner pen, I think. I like a very precise brush for my eyebrows because I want them to be kutcha, kutcha sharp. I know this is weird, but I always just dampen my brush. It's really not sanitary. And then I just pick up a little bit, a little bit. Anastasia Brow Pomade. My color is chocolate. I like a dark and fierce brow. This is the annoying part because you kind of just have to have something random. I guess today it's gonna be a Band-Aid box, um, but I, I don't know how to explain it, so just watch. You don't wipe it all off, but just enough to evenly coat your brush. And then since I have to be all up in my face when I do this, I'll just kind of show you as I do it. So I underline where my natural brow is. So I just line my brow first. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna perfect it later. So just give it a go. And if it looks like shit, we'll conceal it later. I don't know why I do it. I just swear to God, it makes them look better. I, you asked, I'm showing you. So I also line the top. And then once I have my outline set up, 
perfectly and how I want it. I will start off by using just my excess on filling in my brow very lightly. And I'm gonna save this front part of my brow for last. I want like little to no product on my brush by the time I get to the front. That way I can just make down motions just very lightly and just work on making that look more like a shaped brow. So kind of like, like so. Now this doesn't have to be perfect yet. I'm gonna wipe off my brush so I don't get little clumpies and then I'm gonna come back and get a little more product. And then I'm gonna shade in a little bit darker and then kind of adjust my shape. Voila. Now that you kind of get it, I'm gonna do this next one kind of fast. Okay, so here's my secret on how to get a sharp ass brow. I take this Morphe brush. I'll find it, I need to go to Ulta today and I'll link it below. I take this brush and I make sure the edges, I'll just go like, like that. Now make sure it's super sharp. Then I'm gonna take the MAC concealer. This is the color NC20. I don't remember what, maybe Studio FX. I don't know, something like that. I'll link it below. Um, it's a really creamy, heavy duty concealer and I'm just gonna lightly dip into that, pick up a little bit. I don't want a lot because I don't want it to clump. And then I'm just gonna outline my outline. So like under like that. I don't really do over anymore because I feel like it makes it look super done. Um, so I just kind of leave the tops alone and it is what it is. And then um, I'll just clean up the bottom a little bit. Here's a close up so you can kind of see. This is the press and pull down method that I have pioneered. I just press the straight line and kind of wiggle it, you know, and then pull down. Now you want to make sure you don't leave your brow like this. You obviously want to work it into the skin. So just keep pressing and pulling down and just lightly working it into the skin like you would any foundation or concealer. I just always kind of press my finger into it and that kind of help gets off the excess. And then once you do that, you can definitely go back in and say, okay, there we go. Boom, baby. Now repeat. All right, brows are done. Now I take the Glossier and if you don't have to do this, it's kind of extra. Um, I take this Glossier brow flick and I just, it's super, super sharp. And I just kind of make little fake hairs very lightly. You don't want to do it too much. Just shoot, shoot, shoot. And you can kind of press it to get some of the ink up. This is going to darken them and make it look like you have hair if you don't, like me. But see, men are stupid. So they don't know that your brow is fake. They just see hair and they go, oh, it's real. They must be real. Now you look like perfect sugar baby ready for hot rich man. Typically I have a designated brush for wiping off excess setting powder, but I can't find it. I'm just using this one. I always like putting some right under my eye where I just contoured my eyebrow. And then Now that we've done that, we're gonna take our MAC Studio Fix. This is like um, foundation powder. I get a light shade, I think this is NC20. Yep, same as that concealer. And I put this where I would conceal. So just a little here. I just think it makes everything come together really nicely and look really fresh. And I'm just wiping that off. Sometimes I just take this beauty blender and I just go back over it to kind of make everything 
melt into my skin and look more natural. And because I want this to last all day and I don't wanna have to touch it up really, I'm gonna spray the living hell out of it with my setting spray. For lashes, I use the Lancome Booster. It's basically an eyelash primer. So I'm just gonna take a light coat and apply that. From here, I will just kind of let that dry for a minute, organize my makeup. I always make sure that I'm drinking water, which I haven't really today because I'm filming. But I always try and drink a lot of water while I'm doing my makeup because it's been like 45 minutes I've been doing this. Honestly, I've just been taking my time and talking through it and I really like to hydrate while I'm doing my makeup. And now I'm just gonna do my regular mascara. This is the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I love it. I love the brush. I think it's amazing. Now we good. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow. Callan's still asleep, so I kind of have time. So I'm just gonna start with a nudie, whitey, creamy color and just throw that onto my lid first. Honestly, for everyday makeup, I just do the same look. And I just mix like the nudes and the browns. And I just put that right there in my crease, but on the outer corner of my eyelid. And I just kind of work it in. I wanna angle it kind of out this way for a swept up look. And then, you know, just work it in a little bit like so and i'll kind of just bring it down under my favorite eyeliner right now is the Givenchy liner disturbia i'm just gonna throw it right there kind of in the direction that i was pulling my eyeshadow and now i'm just gonna take this like coppery shimmery eyeshadow because i don't have anything lighter and i'm just gonna kind of work that all over what i just did in a little bit into the corner not really kind of but that's just, you know, right here in my main lid. Lid, I guess just the lid. Now I'm gonna take a sharper, kind of like a nice uh, eyeliner brush, wet the end, pick up some dark smoky blacks, and then just run that over the top of where I put the eyeliner. Cause I want it to be smoked out, not really eyeliner-y, you know? Just like, like that. I'll bring that under as well. Now that my makeup is done, I'm gonna move on to just like curling a few strands throughout my hair. I recently did get it cut and I hate it. Like the lady, I don't wanna get in trouble for like talking bad about her, I don't know, but she just messed me up and it's really choppy. And so I made another appointment with my usual person. I don't know why I even, I'm just an idiot. So, yeah, I just keep curling my hair so I don't have to look at it straight. Cause when it's straight, I can see everything wrong with it. I'm just going to pull out my curls with my hands kind of messy like and I wanted to wait until my hair was completely cooled off from the curling iron and then I'm just gonna messy spray just like that <laughs> and we're ready for the date 